Today we're going to conduct a copper wire test. First thing we need to do is clean the copper wire surface. And we'll do that by taking a half inch of RE2325 in a test tube. We take our copper wire, get it red hot at the tip of the inner blue cone of the flame. And once it's red hot, I plunge it into the alcohol and it cleans off all of the oxidation to give me a nice clean surface to work with. Now I'll take my unknown and I just need a couple drops. I'm going to check to make sure that my copper wire is clean, make sure there's no green flame coming off of it. Otherwise, I would re repeat that step that I just did. Looks good. Now I get a couple of drops of the solvent that I'm checking and vaporize it, turn it into a gas. Once I evaporate the drops, I pour the vapors into the air intake hole of the torch and I look for that green blue color out there coming off of the copper coil. That would be considered a positive test, a green, green blue flame color. Okay, there's your positive test. Take the vapors away, goes back to normal, add the vapors to the air intake hole. And you can see that greenish blue flame. Alright, that's as easy as it gets. That's the copper wire test for today. Copper wire test looks for halogenated hydrocarbons. And that was a positive test. Thank you.